In this video, we would discuss the Pareto chart, which is a very important tool in the total quality management. We would also discuss how to solve problems using Pareto principles. This type of tool is used for the solving the problems related to the quality related to the business in, in any kind of discipline this type of tool is used so watch this video completely so let's start it from the history this is the well Pareto Pareto who introduced the Pareto chart or Pareto principle first time he was an Italian civil engineer sociologist economist and a philosopher who was born in 1890 in 1848 in Paris okay and he he was the head of political economy in the university of Lausina. okay and that's why he was like economist and uh, engineer that's why he introduced something and that was that 20 percent of the population owned 80 percent of the property in italy and this principle came in any kind of discipline after he first introduced this Subsequently, people in a various discipline and professions notice that this same 80-20 rules is applied in many disciplines like business and uh, accidents in quality. Okay, this is a Juron. Okay, Joseph Juron. He was an American engineer. He was a quality guru, quality management consult consultant, and he named it that Pareto principles. Okay, he named that Pareto principles because he noticed that the 80-20 rules can be applied and is applied in the quality issues as well. He is he is the quality management consultant. He was the quality guru. Okay, and that's why he named it a Pareto principles and also called it 80-20 rules. Okay. Now, what is the uh, Pareto principles? Like you can see in the image that 20% uh, of the input can lead 80% of the results. Okay, or 20% in 80%. That's why it is called 20-80% rule. How it is used in the any disciplines? We would discuss this in a, uh, in a coming slides with the examples. Okay doing 20 percent of the work generate advantages of 80 percent of the entire job like you can see in the image okay in terms of the quality improvement large majority of problems 80 percent like 80 percent are created by a few key causes okay that's maybe one cause that may be two cause okay but 80 percent of problems are because of uh, 20 percent of causes that is not exactly equal to 80 and 20 but this is somehow roughly okay i have a website and on that website there are only two articles which have uh, 90 percent traffic and a rest of all articles have uh, i think zero or one two percent views okay in my channel as well so 80 20 percent rule are roughly very very accurate okay Pareto principles like you can see in an image this can be 20% of the causes would have 80% of effects and 20% of the efforts would have 80% of results okay there are many example in many in many discipline how you can uh, use this 20% of car driver causes 80% of accident if you stop if you uh, don't allow the 20 percent of car drivers there is a huge chance that there would be no accidents okay 20 percent of workers do 80 percent of work okay 20 percent of workers that 20 percent of workers may be have uh, a high experience uh, legends okay they may be talented okay so that's why 20 percent of workers do 80 percent of work 20 percent of companies client are responsible for 80 percent of its revenue there are a lot of companies who have only a specific clients okay and that is 20 percent clients which uh, is uh, which have the revenue of 80 percent 20 percent of time spent on the task leads to 80 percent of result 80 percent of the customer complaints come from a 20% of customers 
okay so this is like what the Pareto or principle or 2080 rule is okay 80 percent uh, of wealth belong to 20 percent of the population in any country like uh, the Pareto introduced it only for Italy but today it is in any discipline Pareto principles use when we have many problems how you can use the Pareto principles Pareto chart this is used only when we have a many problems or project and we want to focus on most significant one okay if you want to uh, find the significant one to have a great result or to find the significant problems to eliminate it and have a great result okay help prioritize the improvement opportunities that bring the most value to the business first you find the prioritize improvement opportunity you can follow that opportunity or you can uh, eliminate that problem in the system or pro uh, in the system or process and you would have a value in the business allow to reach the consensus about what needs to be addressed first okay there is a, in a team there is a conflict between two individuals that either we would prioritize this opportunity or prioritize this opportunity prioritize this problem or this problem so the pre to principle help us to remove this uh, conflict and uh, address the issue which have a great result okay used during the improvement project to focus on the causes that contributes most to the particular effect so this is how the Pareto chart looks but how you can make this in the next slide we will discuss this a graphic way of classifying the problems by their level of importance offer referred to as the 80 20 rules so how to construct a Pareto chart the Pareto chart can be constructed by first you have to define the problem what is the problem okay identify the possible causes of the problem if you don't have the causes of the problem how you would prioritize that problem okay how you would find the significant causes in that problem okay you have to remove the that significant cause and the problem would be 80 percent solved so this is the concept of the Pareto chart so you must have the causes of the problems then you have to collect the data okay the rec recorded data okay we will we will use all of these steps in the uh, coming slide and solve the numerical problem calculate the frequency of the identified causes okay draw the vertical bar for each cause or each group sort them by the frequency in the descending order calculate then draw the cumulative percentage line okay this is the example look at here we would use all of these tips to construct the uh, Pareto chart for this problem the herd rock hotel in a belly has just collected the data from 75 complaints called to the general manager during the, mo the month of October the manager wants to prepare an analysis of the complaints the data provided are room service 54 chicken delay 2012 hours the pool is open is 4 mini bar prices 3 and miscellaneous 2 so here we have the 54 12 4 and 3 2 is the frequency okay i collected the data and this is here here is the complaint this is the frequency and you have to find the percentage how you can find this percentage by 54 divided by 75 multiply by 100 so this would be equal to 72 percentage and based on this percentage we would prioritize this work okay meaning that this is a room service which has 72 percentage of complaints so we have to prioritize this room service and eliminate this problem and tackle this problem okay and this is the cumulative percentage 72 percentage 88 you have to add this on and on okay and that's why uh, that is the this is the uh, cause is a percentage and this is the Pareto chart okay are you made from this uh, uh, data okay you can make it in the excel okay 
this is the 72 percentage problems of the room services complaints from the room services so here this yellow line show the cumulative percentage okay this bar show this percentage okay now this is 72 percentage it is higher than the rest of them so we must uh, consider this one okay first then this one and then this one okay so the it mean that the pari the Pareto chart gave us an idea which factor which complaint is more severe okay which complaint should to be uh, eliminated which complaint should to be considered to solve the problem 80 percent so if you from this problem if you remove the uh, complaint of room services you would have a 70 you meaning that you remove the 72 percentage of the problems from this system so that's how you can use the pareto principles so thanks for watching